All right, it is time for day five of Fight for Your Life Land Sal. So today we are opening up UVHM, and normally I would just plow straight through the story and then save D like DLCs for later, but I would like to go ahead and get the quest Grog Nozzle, since we don't really have one, none will drop during our playthrough. So we'll just clear out this part right here, get to the fast travel, and then go to Tina DLC, clear to like clear until we can get a grog and then come back to the base game and then play from there so yeah let's get started and you know even without slag we are still doing just fine for damage maybe a little bit too much damage even though so not a not a real issue that we're gonna run into especially if we can keep our guns are just constantly up apparently during these like chain areas all right so berg is cleared a DLC. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. My frame rate is not happy about this, but it's funny. You know, maybe we don't even need the grog. Apparently we're living just fine, and just actively holding down the shoot buttons works on this character. Hmm. I don't know. I'll probably grab it still just in case, but this is really absurd. Also, we might as well see if we can farm out some class mods while we're here. Because there are legendary class mods in this mod that override a couple of the different prefixes of the monk com and stuff like that. So on top of getting like a good monk, we could also get a unique legendary class mod, which would be pretty cool. Oh, we've got a tubby bones. We've got... Can't really see them past the explosions. Okay, we have two tubby bones here. We'll see if we can... They are super duper thick. That is one thing about this uh, mod. The tubbies in UVHM especially, they just have a certain heft to them. So it might actually take a little while to chew through them. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, cool. We got it. All right. So from him, we got a B-Shield. Legendary Anarchist, which we are not that character. We got a Chopper and a Big Thumper. So with this, the Chopper no longer just automatically fires, but you can spool it up, of course, to get a lot of fire rate. It is probably weaker in this mod than it is in vanilla, weirdly, I would think. But it does provide that aggressive ammo region we are seeing right now, which is pretty neat. And then of course the big thumper over here makes you receive less damage and increases your max health on top of giving you roid. So that's pretty neat. Also B shield. The war is over. Thank goodness. Okay, we got another anarchist. Another, wait, was that a love thumper instead of a big thumper? Uh, yes, okay, so Love Thumper in this mod is still basically the Love Thumper, but it also provides health regen per second, which is pretty neat. Got another Plague, and then I think that's it, unfortunately. I don't think we got anything else. Uh, we didn't get anything else, okay. So from here, really quick, I am going to farm out these chests right here, so that one and then that one down on that ship over there. We'll see if we can get any good monks or if we get any custom legendary class mods. Okay, we've got two class mods. Neither of them are the one we want. That's pretty cool, though. That's neat. So, sexual Tyrannosaur and Asbestos. Or all three of the skills. Okay, so does this pretty much buff the vanilla skill pool? Well, I mean, yes. Yes, it does. Okay. Cool. So if you needed a money shot com, you could just use this. All right. Okay. We've been doing this farm for a while, and the hardest part of the farm 
is just sitting in the loading screens and then only being in game for about five seconds to open the chest. And we've been doing this for a good little while now, so we might keep it up for a little bit, but probably not too long. Okay, well, I guess we are not getting legendary class mod. We've been here for quite a while, but we did get a meat grinder and we also got a bone crusher. So I don't exactly remember what both of these do. This one just fires in bursts and it does non-elemental is what it appears to do. And then if I had to guess the meat grinder, it's probably just a BL1 reference. Let's shoot a guy with it. Let's fall down, hold on. Okay, so you are explosive. This could be a fun combo. Oh, and right, because I'm using it with a shotgun, it gets an extra two pellets. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, that could be really, really fun. Okay. We'll do that. And we didn't quite get the best roll for a monk we could have. We could have gotten money shot on top and then asbestos probably. But critical damage, some fire rate, and some money shot isn't too bad. And I'm not really pressed for damage right now. So it's just kind of a thing we'll appreciate. All right, and with that done, we will go ahead and just mash out half of Tina DLC real quick just to get the grog, and then try to do as much of the base game as we can today. And then tomorrow, I would imagine, we'll probably just do more base game followed by the rest of Tina DLC. A weird little loop. Hmm. Okay, it doesn't do a lot of damage, this assault rifle, but it is pretty funny. So I think we might keep it just for that alone. But I don't I don't know if it's our best damage option necessarily. Alright, now we have to ask ourselves the question, do the treants resist explosive, or is this just how thick they are? Are we just bad at the game? Why are there so many of them? Actually, there are multiple questions to ask now, I guess. This is terrifying. Okay, we're gonna try to use the Bone Crusher. If that's a bad idea, I don't really know. We could offhand it and try to get the extra bonus there. Maybe that's what we'll try to do. Okay. Uh, hold on. Okay, so what did we get? We got a doom stick, which we can't even equip yet. Mag size of 86. Okay, so that's just throw all of your ammo at a guy at once. Okay. And then we also got a resupplier which is actually really, really nice because the resupplier throws out basically everything whenever you take damage. Whenever it does proc, you get full health, you get a crap ton of ammo, and well, that's pretty much all you need. Both of those, and it's super duper nice. We might, um, huh, we might have won a winning, like found a winning combo here. Just a little bit. This is, um, this is kind of a lot. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. And now that we are at Claptrap, we can go ahead and grab the Grog quest. And then probably not even use the Grog because we are on such a winning recipe right now with the current items that we have. But we'll just keep it just in case we need it. But this whole Ravager plus Bone Crusher thing is way too nice right now. Hmm. No. I get a feeling that the rest of the story is just gonna really be fine. Hmm. Yeah, okay. So this is the resupplier working here. So as you can see, it drops a bunch of ammo and health. And then it does also drop a plain shield booster as well. So we can use that to go ahead and just get our shield back on top of all that ammo and stuff. It's kind of really gross. 
Okay. I feel bad for this guy, but I, I'm, I'm just curious. Oh, it doesn't? <laughs> okay, so I wonder if offhanding the little SMG we have would actually deal more damage. I mean, we'll need more ammo, but we can come back out here and test that. That, yes, that was more damage. Honestly, not too much of a surprise, but I just wanted to check. So his shield blocks literally everything. But if we can just kind of wedge ourselves into his shield a little bit, I'm sure that we can probably get some good damage off. There we go. That works. I might have to start using singularities on my vanilla salvadors, apparently. Although it kind of just depends if I'm running a deputy or what I'm running. But the ability to just kind of corral everybody together for these explosives are really nice. Alright, Warden. Oh, they got to spawn mobs. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, there we go. Almost entirely resisted the explosive, but the SMG came in. Seems good. Also, it feels really dumb that I went to go get a grog nozzle now. I'm literally never going to equip it, and I don't think I ever should equip it on this character. I think his toolkit is enough to keep him alive, especially considering Gunzerk makes us take three times less damage, and then while we have this kill skill active, we take two point five times less damage, you know, on top of that. And then if we just, you know, stacked a couple more things, we could probably make it even more tanky. Doesn't need any help, turns out. I mean, at this point, I don't even have to ask how this is gonna go. Let's be honest here. This is just kinda gonna go. Well, not as quick as I thought, but still really, really fast. Try throwing a chuck at him. He normally does not care about chucks, my bad. I forgot. Here we go. So, turns out that the VAs can totally rock our world, but pretty much every other enemy type is not a problem. I think it's mainly the fact that they just resist explosives so heavily, and so they don't even, like, stagger too much, and then they get their burst off and kill us that way. But we can work around that. There's only a few required kills of those guys. There's a tubby. I gotta fight him. Probably gonna destroy my world, but I gotta go for it. I mean, I guess it killed those two, which is nice, but also not at all my target for them. There we go. Okay, did we get anything we can actually use on Sal? That is a legendary Reaper. Got a Axton Com. Well, Heart of the Ancients, but it's Sniper. A Hoarder. Okay. So, what does the Hoarder buff? So. Decreases weapon recoil by two times. Okay, so less spread and stuff. Cool. Ammo regen, of course. 
plus two mag size and ammo carry capacity, five shots or six, plus two locked and loaded, and lay waste, and plus two out of bubble gum. Okay, so we could get an insane amount of fire rate with this class mod. I do think I'd still kind of prefer our Berserker, just because the increased movement speed and the passive health region is super duper nice, and the cooldown rate and stuff. But I will say, get a Gunzerker, that will probably be the next move. Just because infinite Gunzerk chaining sounds incredible right now. This wasn't a question either. This was, yeah, fully expected. Well, hold on, he's holding out better than I thought. There we go. Hey, a little beefier than expected. But it's done. The best way to control the room. Oh, that's I can't control that. Hold on. Need to kill him before he eats that chuck. Okay, there we go. There it is. Okay, we figured out how to deal with the super BAs or ultimates. Oh, there's a loot lover. Um, okay. I was not ready for you. Hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna respawn. Goodness, it does enough to one-shot a loot midget. To be fair, he was slagged. But that's still a lot. I'm gonna throw a TDR at this boss. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I'm sorry. Have another. Okay. <laughs> you know, like one more. Yeah. Okay. Hey, let's put a TD or Chuck on the ammo region character. What a great idea. This, yeah, this is that's a little that. Hmm, I don't know about that. That's a little dumb. All right. Well, unfortunately, we are out of time for the day. We have made a lot of good progress, and we have discovered that we have a no you button in the form of a TD or shotgun. So, feels pretty good. Obviously, we have too much damage, and obviously we're going to be able to just breeze through the rest of UVHM tomorrow. I should totally up it to True Nightmare and just give enemies the 50% damage reduction so they have a chance to live. But at this point, we're already several days deep, so we might as well just keep playing on this difficulty and just see how it goes. Maybe at OP10, we'll try to fight raid bosses at True Nightmare difficulty and just see how that goes. But that'll do it for today. So, day five.